Morning guys, I'm off to my hairdresser today so I wanted to vlog everything because I'm gonna cut my hair a little bit and then dye it. I don't have the time for breakfast anymore, just walk Dorian. So I'm gonna grab some Vita cookies and I think I'll have some coffee at the salon. So yeah, off I go. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing with my hair because I don't even know myself. It's gonna be a surprise for the both of us. the current state of my hair and my roots I have outgrown so we'll do some toning it is a bit length that is flowers to really well into shampoo it does add spin so the butter is pulled up the mad and healthy single mm -hmm. Here is the result. Hey guys, I'm back home from my hairdresser. Come here, baby. <laughs> He missed me because I was away for three hours. That's how long it took to get my hair done. Which is quite long actually. <laughs> he clearly missed me. So guys, this is the final result. And um, I asked my hairdresser to tell me what is it exactly that she did to my hair so that I could explain it to you guys um, okay so she trimmed my hair a little bit I didn't want to go for a short cut but she cut I think about five centimeters um, of my hair which is the length that I actually like on me uh, somewhat longish and then she didn't touch my roots. I was like, I don't even know what I want. I like so many different hair colors. She suggested that I grow out my roots and then we'll do highlights, um, which will take a little while. She said I have to come at the end of March uh, to let my roots grow out a little bit. So you can see uh, the color of my roots right now, this darkish um, line here. Um, and she said if we did highlights now it wouldn't look nice you have to outgrow the natural color and then we'll uh, do the highlights she didn't touch my roots but she toned my hair uh, and now it's a little bit darker and it's a more natural looking blonde and the contrast between the roots and my hair color isn't as harsh right now um, and she said yeah after a couple of weeks it will I mean your roots will be a little bit more visible it's a bit of a process that I'll have to go through also she said you have to stop using purple shampoo because I use that Kehastas Blonde Absolute uh, purple shampoo and conditioner which I thought would tone my hair but actually just messed it up because my hair is a naturally blonde so obviously it's a little weaker like the front bits are super light which is dead hair basically so purple shampoo really gets into these front bits and they're like this grayish blue color um and yeah it just m messes up my hair and she had to wash out that bluish gray color out of my hair which took a little while uh, so she said don't touch any purple 
shampoos from now on I said okay I'm not gonna do that anymore by the way I often get questions on what sort of cut I ask for so I like I'm gonna show you my hair from the back so from the back I usually ask for a blunt cut but she suggested that I add a couple shorter layers because I told her that I usually do waves in my hair so she said it would be nicer um, to have a little bit of different length at the back so she did a blunt cut and then some uh, layers and at the front I always ask for these front pieces to be way shorter like if I tie my hair up you can see I have these shorter pieces at the front to frame my face and I just like that look and then some longer ones and then yeah basically the front has layers and these front bits i tend to trim myself because my hair grows really fast so when they're too long i trim them myself so she explained how to do it properly anyway yeah this is all about my hair uh, i actually didn't have breakfast today <laughs> i'm pretty hungry i only had uh, i had amazing coffee at the salon um by the way the salon i go to is Alessas Jurovlova's uh oz design home and one Bilvita cookie so now I'm hungry I would like to have some breakfast but I have to shoot some pictures for Kahastas campaign because I'm working with Kahastas again which you guys know is my favorite hair care brand I'm so 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 happy to work with them um, and I got a prop um, a flower for the pictures and yesterday I actually made granola right before I went to bed, but I added way too much honey. I was very liberal with honey and now it's it's too honey. It's just like a healthy version of honey Cheerios. This is my granola and yeah, it's like, it's stuck together. I have to crush it. Yeah, it's very honeyish, but it's still really, really yummy. Um, I have a granola recipe on my channel, so I'm gonna link it down below. And this is the flower anthurium that I got for the shoot because the products are pink. I decided not to shoot Casta's pictures today because it's way too dark already and it's cloudy. There's no no light. Basically, my home is super gray and the pictures would turn out grainy. It's not ideal and tomorrow we'll have a little bit of sunshine so I would rather um, shoot them tomorrow morning and so instead now I'll film my tattoo and piercing video because I have never done one but first <laughs> I want to show you a piece of jewelry I received yesterday from this brand I have no idea how to pronounce it Y O J Yo Yo um yeah sorry for mispronouncing your brand but it's a lovely girl and it's a new brand she reached out to me on instagram and she saw that i love jewelry you guys know that i'm a sucker for gold jewelry and she wanted to send me a piece from her collection you get two little cards uh, some care instructions i'm gonna link her instagram down below if you guys are interested and this is the necklace i chose What's the name of it actually? I don't know. This is what it looks like. I think it's absolutely stunning. So it's got half the face. You can see nose and lips. And it really reminds me of when I went to art school. We had to draw, like pencil draw, um, these sort of things. They would have sculptures and we had to draw nose and lips. And it was so difficult. I remember really struggling with the drawing. Um, so anyway, this reminds me of my art school days. If you guys didn't know, that's a fun fact about me. I used to go, it's not so fun, I guess. I used to go to art school for um, two and a half years, but didn't complete it because it's four years in total. And it's so nice. On the other side, it has, I guess, her signature and brand name as well so i want to put it on today but i'm wearing a few necklaces already 
This is my current favorite necklace. I love it so, so much. It's from Anya High. This is my Daisy snake chain from Estee's collection that I wear all the time. So this one is a little bit longer. Yep, this is what it looks like. And it has this sort of rope chain. Yeah, I think it looks really pretty, especially with a shirt like this. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Actually, I'm gonna uh, vlog tomorrow, so I'll mesh a couple of days together. I'm a little lazy to cook anything, so I'm gonna have instant noodles, don't judge, but these are really good, hot and spicy flavor. I haven't had ramen in years, actually, and it's really good sometimes. I really wanna show you guys these Carousel's products that I'm shooting tomorrow because they are absolutely incredible they are in my shower because i already tried them they are so fantastic so i really want you guys to try them out so yeah they sent me um the whole range the wet brush which says Carastas on the other side but i think i'm gonna give this to my mom because i have this tangle teaser which is my favorite brush, I love it. And yeah, I have a few other brushes, so I don't need another new one. Um, they also <laughs> sent some stickers. And this is all the information on the product. Look at the model, so stunning. Emily is the face. Um, and yeah, I have all the information on the new products in here. Uh, so the line is called Genesis. Okay, so I have the shampoo. This is uh, anti-hair fall fortifying shampoo for weakened hair. Mm, prone to falling due to breakage. These products smell like something else. I don't even know what the scent is. Super fresh. All Kerosas products smell ridiculously good. But this line is, I think, next level. <laughs> like the blonde Azalu range smells insane, like grapefruity. This is maybe even better. And then this is fortifying anti-hair fall conditioner, um, which is great as well. So try these two already, absolutely in love. And then I also have uh, anti-hair fall fortifying blow-dry fluid for weakened hair as well so this I just spray on damp hair before blow-drying it so I was using this one from resistance uh, range length caring gel cream blow-dry care um, leave-in conditioner which is amazing but you guys might remember my favorite was the purple one from the blonde range I still love this one though um, I also have this baby this is extensionist serum, which I use sometimes as well. But yeah, this is my new leave-in conditioner, pre-blow dry. Um, and I also have this new serum, which is uh, anti-hair fall fortifying serum. And the packaging is so beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Actually, it matches my nails. Look at this massive pipette. Ooh, so you just put this in your roots. So far so good. First impression. Love them. Um, but you know with Kerastase it's really hard not to love their product. I have been disappointed maybe once or twice. I have their serum that I am not a fan of. This is the only Kerastase product I didn't like that I have tried over the years. Um, so yeah, I'll shoot these products tomorrow. Keep on using them. Uh, to have a better insight on them. Another thing I want to mention really briefly is this lotion. It's by Pink by Pure Beauty uh, Soul Light Dewy Lotion. It's a Korean product. I recently got it in Drogas. They have this line. I think they have four or five different products and I am obsessed. It's, as it says, very light dewy lotion. Smells incredible and it just leaves your skin plump, moisturized, super dewy without being too heavy. So it's my new favorite thing to use in the morning before I apply my makeup. Okay, I think my ramen is good to eat now.
Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's four degrees Celsius. Today, expect a high of six degrees. I can also play a brief news update from your favorite news provider. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. We're ready to go out for our morning walk. It's four degrees outside, so pretty cool. It's time to wash the paws of this little one, because he's all muddy. We're back from the walk. I was gonna do some yoga, but my mom just called me. She said, I'm coming over. She was running some errands in the city, so we'll have some coffee together and I'll have my breakfast. Um, by the way, this morning I woke up, I looked at my hair and I was like, I don't like it. I don't know, yesterday it looked really nice, maybe because of different light. Now I see it in broad daylight and it's like pink lilac something something and i don't know i don't like the pink purpley look to it at all but maybe that will wash off because it's just been toned so hopefully the the color will wash off and look better because now i'm like mm, i'm not feeling it um okay so <laughs> look at this one <laughs> walked fed washed and happy <laughs> i'm gonna have an egg today and gonna make my coffee i think i'll have one egg and then some belvita you guys remember my obsession with these years ago i used to have them for breakfast every day and now i'm kind of back to them like i really love these cookies they're oatmeal cookies with dried berries so blueberries and blackberries my two favorite berries and yeah they're just so good anyway Ooh. Ai, tu sabe o que faz, Chum? Uhum. Tu já sabe onde é que tu as da Por duque isso. Não é isso? 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 Yeah, I'm to take it. I'm going to take it. Yay, sunshine! I can't believe this. I'm so glad I didn't shoot the pictures yesterday because I was waiting for the sunshine. And here we go. I have it today, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, go apply my makeup, and then go take the pictures. I love this robe, it's from La Tendresse. If you're wondering, I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna do my makeup now. I'm using my Clarence Youth Fluid Foundation. I'm gonna do the so brow thingy. 
just rub my spoolie in the soap and then run it through my brows. Voila, brows done. Just finished my makeup. Um, on my lips, I use Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. I love this lipstick, and I have this super cute, tiny uh, baby lipstick. Look at it, it's so tiny, but it's such a pretty color. Um, I need a full size of this, but I have pretty similar lipsticks, so yeah. But it's a gorgeous nude, and it's so comfortable, and um, yeah. I feel like it's a very flattering shade. So now I'm gonna go get rest. He's just sleeping on my bath mat. If I leave, he will come immediately. <laughs> he always comes after me. Okay, this is kind of my setup um yeah this is what i'm going for uh a mirror on the bed with the products and the flower and we'll see what i can come up with i take all my pictures using the remote i can remember all my world was up never expected you would pick up when i called you up just received a delivery, so let's take a break from taking pictures. It's by Atois, uh, Australian brand. It's the same brand that this top is from. Absolutely love Atois. Let's open it together. Oh, it's a wrap top, I remember. It's really cool, actually. Okay, guys, the top is supposed to look like this. It looks like this. I tried my best to put it on. It makes absolutely no sense to me. I, I, I cannot wrap it this way. It's sort of like this, but not exactly because I don't think it should be like this. Oh my god. Atua, why do you have to make your clothing so difficult to put on? I was driving past this place and I saw people training their dogs here, so... That's super cool, it's for dog training, uh, doggy clean, for pullbacks, oh look there's even a brush. I took some treats and we'll play a little bit, do some training. So walk Dorian had a little bite to eat, it's actually nighttime already, it's 8pm. I'm just having some yellow kiwis. Mm. Today I'm actually in a weird mood. I'm very irritable. Everything annoys me, pisses me off. I lose my temper really quickly. And I'm not sure why that is. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and go to a coffee shop. I'm gonna get some coffee at night. I know, but coffee doesn't really have an effect on me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do some editing. These super pretty Akmoa vintage cups have sold. So now I'm gonna wrap them. I'm gonna reuse Kajasta's box, which is already recycled, like recyclable box. I'm listening to a new song by Monica Liu, who's a Lithuanian singer I love. And her new song is called Troshkimas, Desire, I guess. Um, it's so beautiful you guys. Oh my god. I love it. It's a love song. A pretty melancholic, slow love song. It's so beautiful. Just listen to it. Her voice is incredible and also her style of singing, I love it so, so much. And also there's a new song by The Weeknd called After Hour, uh, which is amazing as well. I've been listening to that. After Hours, sorry.
I'll have copyright problems so um, yeah but if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I share a lot of um, the music that I'm loving on my insta stories and I actually made a highlight on my insta stories called music where you know I have collected all of the songs that I love but you can just follow me on Spotify Yeva Masluskaite um, yeah, I have public playlists that you can listen to because music is a huge part of my life. I cannot spend a day without music. The first thing that I do when I wake up is put the music on and it's always around me throughout the day, either at home with Alexa or in my ears, in my car. I always, always um, live with music playing. So yeah, I guess I want to share a little bit of what I love with you guys. I want to use the new High Smile product. I'm gonna do a separate video on these. Uh, I have tried High Smile before, but they have improved. It's a new formula, so I'm just gonna test them out uh, for about a week. Uh, so these are the new High Smile Day Toothpaste and Night Toothpaste. Um, yeah, I love these before, but we'll see how they have improved them. And this is the whitening kit. I have my old one right here, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna film it now because yeah, I'm gonna do, as I said, a full on sort of review um, on these products. Because the previous kit I wasn't too impressed with. I really, really liked the toothpaste, but the whitening set wasn't a massive fan of. But hopefully this will work. I'm gonna go take a shower and watch an episode or maybe two of the Kaminsky Method. Um, it's a show that I told you guys I'm loving at the moment. I've just started season two, so I'm gonna watch a second episode of season two, but it's only 30 minutes, so, you know, it's super fast. Some episodes are actually 20 minutes, so I might watch two or three episodes tonight. I'm gonna turn my laser on. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the first session. I had had it on until it beeped. I don't know how long I kept it in. Five or ten minutes, maybe ten minutes. I'm gonna take my makeup off using the Body Shop Cleansing Balm. Of this thing, it gets all my makeup off. Oh shoot, I forgot to remove my rings. And it's a pet peeve of one of my friends. I don't normally do that, but I just forgot now. I look like a freak now. <laughs> Taking your makeup off is amazing. It just feels so good. I definitely need to tie my hair back. And uh, I wore eyeliner today, so yeah. There's a lot of makeup to take off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my Misha cleanser on my Foreo Luna and Remove the makeup with that. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I went to um, a coffee shop to do some editing and I was there for about an hour and I got a parking ticket. I was so pissed at myself because 
Yeah, basically park my car where you're not supposed to park. Um, I didn't know that, but there was a sign. And the city was empty. It was 9 in the evening. Completely empty place. So it's really weird they gave me a parking ticket. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm gonna use my Bioderma and Miss Water Water um, just to make sure all the makeup is off. And then I'm gonna go have a shower and finish up my skincare after the shower. <laughs> just showered, I found a mask which I was given at an event. Uh, it's Biocell Bubble Cleansing Mask. So I'll try it out. You're supposed to keep it on for five to ten minutes. Um, so I will have it on while watching the show. And it is bubbly. I thought it would bubble up, but it's already all bubbly. <laughs> Doreen is like, what the hell is this? I'm gonna use the viewfinder as a mirror. Dorian, what is this? <laughs> Baby, no, 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 no. It's actually sort of like a soap or a shampoo. Feels like it because it's like super bubbly. It's like applying a liquid soap on your face. Gonna watch. Damn, if you didn't win me over. I'm glad. Yeah, I think we made a nice connection. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm gonna finish my episode and go to bed. And I'll see you very soon. It's kind of difficult talking with this mask on. Bye.